Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how to try to make this kind of sound. This kind of sent home like this. Oh, sorry. So, to do this, this time I used the wave table because anyway, uh, if you're using Live 9, you cannot use the rack. Uh, I've done the version with analog in case. If you want to copy, I will show you later. So, a wavetable with uh, a saw waveform. One of the main things feature is the pitch envelope. You have as well an envelope on the filter. Let me show you the pitch envelope. The envelope for the filter and this amplitude envelope. You have as well uh, keyboard tracking, like this, the lower the filter, the lower the note, the lower the filter, the higher the note, the higher the frequency. Something like this. And I think that's it. So then after I put bright key just to add some harmonic to the, to the sound, but when you have a low sent on, you need to have a bit more of harmonic. One frequency shifter to add some frequency modulation. And a cue with an high pass filter in case you want to remove some low frequency of your horn. The auto pan is just a tremolo effect and some reverb. So now let's have a look at the macro. So the first one is the attack. Uh, if you want a more plucky sound, just Low attack. If you want more like a horn around 40, 80 milliseconds, depends. And if you want to do more like a powered sound, go above one second. All right, so I know originally this rack is only sent home, but you can even modify. Then you have cut off frequency mod modulation one. This is if you really want to make like a kind of very techno sound mod frequency modulation. Then you have the tremolo. Brightness has a told you if you play high note it's not really but it's really useful when you play low note. I'm gonna put it down. a little bit of brightness and if you just put you still keep the the low end but have all the brightness high pass filter this especially if you use when you drop your sound uh, to evit conflict between the kick bass and you send horn you don't really need all this low frequency uh, second second frequency modulation which is controlling this one same as the first one. Just to give different tonality to your sound. Oh, sorry. And then finally a reverb, which is the main of the sound. Without is completely different. All right, and I think that's all. So yes, you have as well pitch band. I put as well on the mod wheel.
Okay, then I'm gonna quickly show you the analog if you are on Live 9. So same, so waveform, a little bit of pitch modulation. Um, let me show you how it's sounding. It's not exactly the same, but filter, it's more or less the same quality with six loop pass, 12 dB. I copy, I just copy the parameter from the wave table there and amplitude and I think that's it. I think I put the keyboard track as well on the filter. Um, yeah, a little bit here and the envelope as well, which is important. And I think that's it. We are good. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like it. Don't forget, you can download it for free. The link is on the video description. Uh, and don't hesitate to watch my other video as well. Please don't forget to like, comment, share my video if you like it. And have fun.